All right, even though technically he still is a little bit too small for this, I decided that it's never too early to start, even if it's just getting him used to the idea of a designated time in our day where we sit and do things. I mean, like, they always say to get your baby on a schedule, do it around the same time, so they know that, oh, at 12 o'clock is when nap time is, so that's why I'm extremely tired. Mommy will put me down to bed. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing as that. I'm just going to be showing him it. Nothing like, I mean, even when he does get to being the age, the recommended age, which is 18 months, like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, ah, drill instructor. It's gonna be fun and it's going to be really laid back, but I'm just gonna go through with it, with him. So wish us luck. You wanna look at it? You wanna see, you wanna open? open <laughs> don't get your finger stuck <laughs> yeah it's a letter okay we're going to mama's gonna read this and vladi will just look at that you know what how about mama puts on another tune for you to watch i didn't realize i had something to read which is ridiculous but here look at this this looks so nice look we have an alphabet book look a b c oh look at the cow what sound does the cow make mm. Vacuum fun with the boys. Whoa. Whoa. Do you want to try it out? No, you don't do it anymore? No more? Do you want to try it one more time? Baby, I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm sorry. Look, it's okay. Look, just look, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm sorry, boys. Normally, he really likes it when I suck him up, like suck up his legs and stuff, but I guess I just must have frightened him. I don't think he was expecting it. That wasn't very nice of me, though. Yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yo. Can you sing it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Do you want to go take a bath? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What sound does a duck make? How about a cow? That's a duck. How about a cow? Can you do that? No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't... All right. Mama's coming. I didn't mean to frighten him. Like I scared him with the vacuum and normally he really likes it. I got to put some stuff away. Hold on boys. Gotta put them, oh, I did not shut that right. But I gotta put this stuff away so the dogs don't eat it. And then we're gonna go take a bath. Should be fun, they're gonna take a bath. I'm just gonna sit there and chill. Um, my ears hurt, I don't know why. There's like a fly in here. I don't know when the hell he got in here, where he came from, because it's been like super windy these past few days. So I'm like, how did you even get here? Cousin, do you want another siplet of milkies? Do you want another siplet of milkies? All right, you guys, we'll see you later. Got done taking a bath a little while ago. Oh, no. Do you want watermelon? Apparently, my son wants my watermelon. I am starving, but what can you do? All right, Mom, I'll give you pieces. Hold on. We're feeding Aiden currently. Well, we're not feeding Aiden. Vlad Vladimir's feeding Aiden. Yes, Vladimir. Raymond is feeding Aiden right now, and one of his big issues is that he will refuse to actually swallow the food that's in his mouth. He also doesn't like when I talk about him, apparently. But he will open his mouth and act like he's starving, and, um, you know, you're like, oh, he's eating so fast, and then he goes to open his mouth, and it ends up being that he has an entire, like, mouthful of food, and he'll scream and kick and fuss and act like he's starving. But like you can't, you physically can't give him any more because his mouth is just full. So it'll take him a little bit to swallow, chew and swallow it finally. But it's just a little stubborn little guy in that aspect. Not sure why. He doesn't do it all the time, but he does it often enough that you, that we've come to learn his tricks. My son down there drinking water like a big boy. Oh, choking on water like a big boy too. <laughs> Dirty 
face, boy. <laughs> Camera! Where's Dada at? Where's Daddy? Where's Aiden? Vladimir, where's Aiden? Is that Aiden up there? Hi, Aiden. Yeah. Oh, do you want to tell him what he was doing while he was eating his banana? He was standing all by himself, like, the entire time he was eating it. <sighs> but now he's decided he's a newborn baby, and I need to pick him up. All right, you guys, I had a pretty good day today. Not that you guys saw, but I had a pretty good day today. The boys were both very good. I was very good. Everything was pretty, everything was really good, actually. Um, today, time went by really fast. Before I knew it, Raymond was home. And since getting sick, I have been just like, my day, my hours have been dragging. My minutes have been centuries long. And today was like a really good day. So I'm hoping for another good day tomorrow. And the class is kicking me all of earlier today, earlier tonight. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. A while ago, like an hour, no, like a half hour ago. And I was trying to film it for, on Snapchat. But I would literally, he would be kick, 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 and then I would go to film, and he would stop moving. So I'm like, and I'd like, the, the, like, the Snapchat video would be over, and then he'd start kicking again. I'm like, what? Raymond faults him. Oh, man. I can't believe I'll be having another baby. That's going to be exciting. I will not lie. I'm a little nervous, though, just to see how we all just are able to get along, you know? But I think... I think everything will be good. I am or beginning to become quite uncomfortable with a lot of things. Like just moving certain ways, laying on my stomach, even though I can and it doesn't hurt. I wake up and like, I think that's the reason why for like a long time my stomach was hurting. Because I would sleep on my belly and I wouldn't roll over in the middle of the night so I'd just be on my belly the entire time and then I'd wake up and go to the bathroom and I'd feel like I was dying probably because I was crushing my son so but they say that allegedly that if it starts to hurt too much or if your body's too much in pain that you'll flip over like in your sleep but I never did and if I did I'd always roll back onto my stomach so I don't know I'm, I've always been a really big stomach sleeper though um what was I going to say to you guys? Another thing that I've become very uncomfortable with is just my emotions. I was having a pretty, personally, not like emotionally, I was having a pretty <coughs> rough morning slash mid-afternoon. Got kind of depressed about a few things, just kind of overwhelmed with a lot of things. A few personal, a few political, and a few other just like things that don't even matter or don't even like you know shouldn't matter and I know yesterday I was telling you guys about how we were um, looking for venues for my best friend's wedding and it's just like it's funny because it's not my wedding and I'm not the one going to go look at venues but because my I feel like my emotions are so heightened I feel like this sense of anxiety like oh my god like it's this November and I have no idea what's going on or what's happening or blah 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 and it's just freaking me out but I don't know and it just gives me anxiety on top of having anxiety over other things and normally I am always a very emotional person but I can normally keep them in line and in check and with this pregnancy I really haven't been like you can ask Raymond he'll he'll tell me that I did such a wonderful job today or he'll like so like he'll say something very simple and nice and he'll just like caused me to start crying because he's just so sweet and supportive like it's it's ridiculous how many times I've cried because I've had such a supportive husband <coughs> a supportive husband who's still like coughing up his lungs mind you but still and I don't know I just it's weird it's just really weird I'm just I don't like being that I don't like not being in control of my emotions it's it's strange no luck it, no luck it at all. But um, yeah, but everything else was pretty good. So we will actually see you guys tomorrow for another day of reality. If you guys like today's vlog, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.